Hey class, this is uh, Professor Nick Sinsky at UNC Charlotte, and um, this is a video um, that's just kind of an add-on to the one I posted earlier today. It's uh, basically how to get an image underlay into your AutoCAD file, um, <clears throat> so you can work on your diagramming. And um, an image underlay would be something like um, you'd get out of like Google Maps or Google Earth or um, any other topo that you might have uh, that you might have downloaded. That's that's a raster image, okay? And you can use that along with the other lines you have to, uh, to maybe help you do diagrams. And what I've got right now is a um, cropped version of the AutoCAD lines that I already uh, had earlier today. I just took a, like a poly line and then I just did like a trim along the outside edge. So I've got all my layers turned on. And uh, what I'm going to do though is um, I'm going to go in <coughs> to Google uh, Maps and um, basically get uh, find the location of the uh, cemetery, which is 815 Hamilton. Charlotte, and I've got, I'm going to zoom into that, and uh, as much as I can, and basically get um, <clears throat> that that area, and then do a screen capture, so I'm gonna, on the PC I'm going to do shift uh, print screen, and if I was in a different, um, if I was on a Mac, uh, I think it's a shift option 4, and that'll let you uh, make a capture of part of an area, so um, shift print screen is going gonna, is gonna to let me do that. Um, I'm going to zoom in. In this case, I might actually, yeah, that's pretty close. So, okay, so shift, print screen. <clears throat> Go into Photoshop. I already have a version of it. So I, when I do a new file, it's going to be the same size as my desktop, which is actually um, a very large screen. So I'm going to go in <clears throat> with a crop tool and just crop away the image. Got that, and then I'm gonna hit save for web and devices, and then just save a, save um, a copy of that to wherever. Okay, so copy paste, crop it, save it, go to AutoCAD. <clears throat> Usually you're on the home ribbon. You're gonna go to the insert ribbon, say attach, find your file. So I'm gonna put it on the screen somewhere. Using the default settings and usually like a visual thing, I'm just going to kind of drop it into about the size I think it's supposed to be. And you can pick the image, and you'll instantly go to this image uh, tab on the um, ribbon. So I'm going to increase fade to something like you know, 40, 50 percent, something like that. Okay, I have to have this selected in order to do that. Okay, then I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to draw order and say send it back, and that's going to let me see my other layers through it. <clears throat> then I'm actually going to turn off most of the layers I have. So I'm going to pick a layer, say control A, that selects everything. Right, you see that in a lot of programs. I'm going to click the um, light bulb to turn off all the layers. <clears throat> turn off the current layer, it's fine. Turn on the image, which is the layer that I posted it to. You can create your own layer, uh, whatever you want it to be. And then I'm going to turn off roads, and that's going to give me, and I've changed the layer color to green, and change the uh, color style to by layer. Um, so I've got my roads, <clears throat> and I'm gonna lock them. You can see the padlock. So I'm gonna lock them so I can't accidentally do anything with them. Um, and I'm gonna use those as a reference to resize my image, okay? And uh, so I'm gonna take my image, select it, and say move. And I think I'm gonna try to find an area of the image that I know, so like this, this kind of corner, I'm going to move it to that corner, so just click, okay, and that gives me an idea of, what's, of what I'm dealing with here in terms of the image. Um, you can see that it needs to get bigger, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the image, <coughs> do scale, the base point is going to be the same corner here, I'm going to scale by reference, so R, and the reference length is the actual length of the image, so I'll click on that corner, down to about where it meets the road. And then I'm going to click again, you can see it shrinking here, I'm going to click it again at where the road is here on the um, on my on my line layers. And yeah, see things things pretty much line up. It works pretty well. It doesn't always work, it depends on what your source is. You can see it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit off here. Um, but pretty close. I mean, if you wanted to try it again, um, you might do another another round of scaling, <clears throat> you might need to move the image over a bit, but, but that's generally how you'd scale that. And then if I go back and I turn my other layers on, um, it might begin to show me, um, you know, just how close I am to certain things.
it's pretty good. So you can use that as your underlay, and you can begin to diagram um, just just based on um, what you already um, have. Okay. So anyway, that's a good that's a good start um, for diagramming. Yeah, not too bad. So um, <clears throat> anyway, that's just how you insert a. Um, an image reference, you can get, uh, again, you can get image references uh, from, from online. Um, you have the image reference um, that we got from um, Betsy that has these on here, that has the labels. Okay. So anyway, just give you a sense of, um, of how to do that. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Hope that helped.